All right, everyone, we're going to go ahead and do the next part of my Wheel of Fortune 50th Anniversary Special, in which this time around, we're going to play one more Sega CD game, and that is Jeopardy. So let's see how we do. Welcome. Let's play Jeopardy. All right, let's do this. Welcome back. All right, contestants, let's begin round one. There is one daily double on the board. Let's look at the categories. Let's do it. What do we have today? We have transportation, mythology, sports, jazz, Odds and ends, and finally, food. Okay. Contestant number one. Where do we want to start? We want to start with uh, food for 100. Or one hundred dollars. Baked oysters are sometimes served on a bed of the rock type of this seasoning. Contestant number one. You'll have sixty seconds to provide your response. All right. What is salt? Yes, that's correct. Food for 200. For $200. Spring operated tongs are often used to hold the shells of these garden gastropods. <laughs> Contestant number one. What are snails? Yes, that's correct. Could we have um, food for 300, please? For $300. Cocktail sausages wrapped in dough and baked are called pigs and bees. Contestant number one. What are blankets? Yes, that's correct. I'll take uh, food for 400 For $400. Chimichangas are often topped with this avocado mixture. Contestant number one. What is guacamole? Yes, select again. Food for 500 
The clue? It's the Daily Double. What would you like to wager? Let's take a look at the answer. Some people serve the lip tar type of this with beer. Others prefer it with white wine. What is cheese? Yes, select again. Awesome. Take jazz for 100. Or $100. The answer there is... His nickname was a contraction of Satchel Mouth. Contestant number Who's one. Louis Armstrong. Yes, select. Jazz for 200. For $200... Part of his name appears in the titles of his albums, Milestones and Miles Ahead. Contestant number one. Who is Miles Davis? Yes, select. For three hundred dollars, it's the title of Billie Holiday's autobiography and the Diana Ross film about her. Contestant number one. What is Lady Sings the Blues? Yes, select again. Uh, I'll tag, take Jazz for 400 For $400. This band leader's theme song was Take the A-Train. Contestant number one. Who is Duke Ellington? Yes, that's correct. Jazz for 500 For $500. Here is the clue. He recorded Fathers and Sons with his father Ellis and brother Branford. Contestant number one. Who is Wynton Marsalis? Right. Mythology for a hundred. Or one hundred dollars. The answer is... The Norse goddess Freya had the unusual habit of weeping tears of this precious metal. Contestant number one. What is gold? Yes. I'll take mythology for two hundred. For $200. The name of this netherworld river is Greek for hateful. Contestant number one. What is sticks? Yes. Select again. I'll take uh, mythology for 300 please. For $300. Stargazers should know these seven sisters are the daughters of Pleione, an ocean nymph. Contestant number one. What are the one. Pleiades? Correct. Mythology for 400. For $400. The answer is... In some accounts, these goat men are the sons of Hermes and Anayid. 
Contestant number one. What are satyrs? Good job. Mythology for 500. For $500. This Greek sea god was sometimes called Earthshaker. Contestant number one. Who is Poseidon? Yes. Select again. I'd like odds and ends for 100, please. Or $100. In the phrase prep school, prep is an abbreviation for this. Contestant number what one. What is preparatory? Good job. I like um, other than Stuart, please. For $200. Let's take a look at the answer. Ralph Waldo Emerson wrote, men are what these relatives made them. Contestant number one. What are mothers? <laughs> Wrong. What? Their mothers. I'd put their mothers. Couldn't just take mothers. All right. Uh, let's take uh, odds and 300, please. For $300. Let's take a look at the answer. In the folklore of this religion, Gibbooks are evil spirits who can take possession of the living. Contestant number one. What is Judaism? Yes, that's correct. For $400. Mr. Wizard said his all-time favorite experiment was getting into one of these, getting one of these into a milk bottle. Contestant number one. What is a hard-boiled egg? Correct. And odds and ends for 500. For $500. Appropriately, it's the National Rose of Syria. Contestant number one. What is the Damask Rose? Yes, select again. Sports for a hundred. Or one hundred dollars. Answer? Henry VIII's court for this racket sport is still used at Hampton Court Palace. Contestant number one. What is tennis? Yes, select again. Oh, I didn't put the yes, but it's okay. For $200. Answer? Squaw Valley, California and Lake Placid, New York are the two U.S. sites that have hosted these games. Contestant number one. What are the Winter Olympics? Yes, select again. I'll take sports for 300. For 
This former heavyweight boxing champ's last bout was a 1981 loss to Trevor Burbick. Contestant number one. Who's Muhammad Ali? Yes, select again. For four hundred dollars. This New York Knicks center was NBA Rookie of the Year for 1985-1986. Contestant number one. Who is Patrick Ewing? Right. Four to five hundred. For five hundred dollars. Each year from nineteen eighty three to eighty nine, a record seven straight seasons, this Red Sox third baseman had over two hundred hits. Contestant number one. Um, who is Wade Boggs? Yes, select again. Transportation 100. Or $100. Answer? These flat bottom boats were specifically designed to travel down early canals. Contestant number one. What are barges? Right. <laughs> For $200. In case you have to leave the Oasis in a hurry, this is the faster of the two types of camel. Contestant number What's one. What's a dromedary? Correct. For $300, the answer is... The Academic American Encyclopedia calls this vehicle the main means of transportation in China. Contestant number one. What is a bicycle? Yes, select again. For $400. Answer? Comic Jay Leno was among 8,700 people on these in November 1990 for a 100-mile charity ride. Contestant number one. What is, uh, what are motorcycles? Yes, select again. Now the last clip. For $500. The answer there is... Add one more of these to a catamaran, add one more of these to a catamaran and you have a trimaran. Contestant number one. What is a hole? Yes.
Good work, contestants. Now let's begin the double Jeopardy round. There are two daily doubles on the board, and here are the categories. See what we have today. We have archaeology, months, 19th century Americans, science, French literature, and finally, we have the Old Testament. All right. Perfect. Contestant number two. <coughs> Excuse me. For $400. The tall, large-headed statues on the Pacific Island were carved from tough, a volcanic rock. <laughs> Contestant number one. What is Easter Island? You'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Yes, that's correct. I'll take archaeology for 200, please. For $200. Fragments of poems of Ball were discovered in the early 1930s on tablets made of this. Contestant number one. What is clay? Yes, that's correct. Archaeology for 600, please. For $600? The House of the Deer is an unusual villa preserved in this once buried city near Pompeii. Contestant number one. What is Herculaneum? Yes. Select again. Archaeology for eight, please. For $800, the answer there is... Ruins of Mayan temples and palaces have been found at Tikal, in this country that borders Belize. Contestant what is number Guatemala? One. Yes. I'll take um, archaeology for a thousand. The answer there is one of the two daily doubles. <laughs> what would you like to wager? The ancient Clovis culture was named for a site in this southwest state where its artifacts were discovered. What is New Mexico? Right. All right, I will take French literature for 200. It's a daily double. How much would you like to bet? All. Of Delmonico, Philippe Mignon, or Chateaubriand, the one who is a French novelist, who is Chateaubriand? Yes, select. For four hundred dollars. The answer there is. In a Voltaire novel, this title character arrives in Lisbon just in time for the 1755 earthquake. Who is Candide? Contestant number one. Yes, select.
for $600. Here is the clue. In a novel from 1831, Esmeralda hides from the mob in the belfry of this building. <laughs> Contestant number one. What is um, Notre Dame Cathedral? Sorry, incorrect. They won't take it. Aww. Even though I know that's right. It's the Cathedral of Notre Dame. Oh, well. French literature for 800, please. For $800, here is the clue. The Paths of Freedom was a four-volume series of novels that this existentialist never completed. <laughs> Contestant number Who is one. Sartre? Yes, select again. I will complete uh, French literature for a thousand. For a thousand dollars. Most of book five of his novel, Gargantua and Pantagruel, was probably written by an imposter. Contestant number Who one. Francois Ribelard. Ribelard, however you say it. Yes, select again. Uh, I'll take months for 200. For $200. The answer is... Armed Forces Day and Memorial Day are both observed during this month. What is May? Contestant number one. Yes. Select again. I would like months for 400. For $400. This summer month's birthstone is the ruby, <clears throat> and its special flower is the water lily. What is July? Contestant number one. Yes. Select again. Months for 600. For $600. The U.S. entered the Revolutionary War, the Civil War, and World War I during this month. Contestant number one. What is April? Yes, that's correct. For $800, the answer there is... On the original 12-month Roman calendar, it was the 12th month. Contestant number one. What is February? Yes, select again. And I'll take months for a thousand. For a thousand dollars. James Whitcomb Riley said it's about knee deep in this month that strawberries melts on the vine. Contestant number one. What is my birth month? June. Yes, select again. 19th century Americans for 200, please. For 
This grand detour, this grand detour Illinois blacksmith invented the steel plow around 1838. Contestant number one. <laughs> Who's John Deere? Yes. yes. Select. I'll take 19th century Americans for 400. For $400. The answer there is... She was called the angel of the battlefield for her efforts in caring for Civil War wounded. Who is Clara Barton? Contestant number one. Yes, that's correct. 19th century Americans for 600. For $600. In 1856, this abolitionist and his men killed five in a guerrilla raid in Potawatomi, Kansas. Contestant number one. Who is John Brown? Yes. Select. I will take Knights of Central Americans for 800 For $800. After Jim Bowie fell ill at the Alamo, Texans fought under the sole command of this lieutenant colonel. Contestant number one. Who is William Travis? Yes. Select again. Could I have um, that set your records for a thousand? For a thousand dollars. Answer there. This noted lexicographer helped found Amherst College in 1821. Contestant number one. Who is Noah Webster? <laughs> Correct. Old Testament for 200 For $200. His friends were cast into the fiery furnace. He was cast into the lion's den. Who is Nebuchadnezzar? Contestant number one. No, who is Daniel? Daniel. Sorry, who is Daniel? Not Nebuchadnezzar. Daniel. Yes. That's correct. Uh, for 400, Old Testament. For $400. The answer there is... Lot chose to reside in this one of the five cities on the plane. Of the plane. Contestant what number is Sodom? One. Yes. Select again. Okay. I'll keep it going for 600 please in the same category. For $600. Answer there. Here is the clue. This king of Israel's famous harp was actually a type of lyre called a kinor. Who's David? Contestant number one. Yes. Select again. I would like um, 800, please, for the same category. For $800, let's take a look at the answer. The Babylonian form of his name was Nebuchadnezzar. Who is Nebuchadnezzar? Contestant number one. Yes. Select. For a thousand dollars. The answer there is Although he's often called Adam's third son, Genesis chapter five, verse three implies he was first. Contestant number one. Who is Seth?
Yes, select. Science 200. For $200. These identifying features are categorized on the basis of arches, loops, and whorls. Contestant number one. What are fingerprints? Yes. Select again. For 400 For $400. Here is the clue. Blood cells are suspended in this liquid that's 95% water. Contestant number one. What is plasma? Yes. Select again. Uh, 600. For $600. A fuel cell converts chemical energy directly into this kind of energy. Contestant number one. What is electrical engineer? What is electrical energy? It's not? Sorry, that's incorrect. Really? Electricity. We had to go with electricity. All right. 800. For $800. A representation of an object formed by an optical instrument. It can be virtual or real. Contestant number one. What's oh, an image? Good job. For a thousand dollars. The islets of Langerhans in this organ also produce glucagon. Contestant number one. Correct. All right. Final Jeopardy. And I'm the only player left for Final Jeopardy. Back for Final Jeopardy. And the Final Jeopardy category for today is... U.S. Government. Okay. Doesn't matter. I'm going to win either way. Contestant number one. Contestant number one. What would you like to wager? The final Jeopardy clue is you'll have 60 seconds to provide your response. Good luck. Contestant number two. Contestant number three. All right. Will they take it or not? Contestant number one, we'll start with you. Your final Jeopardy response was... I just put, what is judge? Yes, that's correct. They took it, so I end up with $100,000. See you all for the next game. And your final Jeopardy wager was... 
Your total? Contestant number one, you are now the reigning Jeopardy! champion. Congratulations. <laughs>